Tonight on education programs, the TLC. Awesome. So the state of Iowa is in its third year cycle of TLC grants, um, Osage. Um, our committee got together and started meeting here in August. Um, and we have a very dedicated, talented group of teachers that's working very hard. The grant's worth 280000 for our district for the upcoming school year if we are um, approved for a grant. What it would do is offer different levels of leadership. Um, and basically we submit this grant here on October 16th. So our group has worked very hard. They meet every Wednesday night and many of them are working on the side to work on the questions. There are 10 different mm -hmm. questions. I'm going to turn it over to two of our teacher leaders that are on the committee to let them present. So if they could come ahead and talk a little bit about teacher leadership compensation grant. Welcome to new board members. We appreciate your service. Thank you very much. Um, so teacher leadership compensation system. It's been around, as she said, for a couple of years. Um, it's been a discussion item at the negotiation level with uh, Superintendent Bass and myself and our team uh, for these two years. The reason we haven't moved forward sooner is we're pretty concerned how that we can put this kind of a system into a small district. Uh, one of the sort of core elements is you uh, put educators in opportunities to teach other educators who are good and all that stuff. And we were concerned about taking teachers out of classrooms because we think we don't have a lot of flexibility with that. We have a lot of teachers who are really good. We want to keep them in classrooms. We didn't have a plan, that's what we're trying to say. And so we thought it might be best, in fact, we did decide it would be best, let some other people maybe lay some groundwork, maybe set a path, and, and then there were some things that we could draw upon because um, we didn't have a clear path from here to there, and we thought maybe we could allow some other people. Um, and we're fortunate enough to have a new superintendent who's traveled that path, and so that was, that's a real advantage for us in this process. So TLC goals, and I know you've reviewed some of this information, you have some of this in print, but I think it's important to hear what the, the goals of, T, of TLC is. It's to improve student achievement, promote collaboration among teachers, reward professional growth and effective teaching, retain effective teachers, attract able and promising new teachers. So that's sort of the core element that we're working with when we're designing this grant proposal. Um, one of the things that we're looking at and wanting to align it to our mission statement of this district, because we, we believe in that. Um, and again, I'm going to say this out loud because it's important for what we all understand sort of where our basis is. The mission of the Osage Community School District is to sustain and enhance a caring community to produce enthusiasm for lifelong learning. That mission is drawn in the belief that where children will learn best in an environment that is caring, safe, both emotionally and physically, a positive climate is encouraging, that provides security for all, and that recognizes everyone's contributions. So, the next level then is we want to align this grant to go with district initiatives. We want to have teachers working and all the professionals working in this whole system for all the same sort of stuff we're all working for anywhere. The three district initiatives are Iowa Core implementation, a multi-tiered systems of support or our support systems for students, student success, as well as technology integration. And of course, we've been involved with that with our 101 program, as you know, and continuing to be as that one of our initiatives. So what TLC does is it provides some money to create some positions. Um, and we've kind of broken down into several different uh, positions, and we're calling them coaches uh, for a vernacular. We're just going with that. So you'll see that come up when you read the grant proposal and all that stuff. Um, the instructional coach is uh, a position that is not someone who's a regular classroom teacher. That's the only position we've designed where they're not full-time in the classroom, although they will be in classrooms, but they'll be, their primary job is to help teach other teachers and sort of organize some of the system. Um, then there's strategist coach, people who are good at something, like we have somebody who's very effective at one-on-one -on -one technology integration in our classroom. They become a strategist coach that teaches people like me who may be not as good as the one-on-one -on -one initiative and, and some of the stuff like that. Mentor coaches, we have a mentorship system in Iowa we have had for a while. That's being folded into all of this and so we want to continue that, that program. Uh, mentorship is a really critical piece that really helps our young educators be successful and have a chance. And uh, the following is PLC. PLC stands for Professional Learning Communities. You may have heard that term around. It's, it's, it's kind of a buzzword in the world right now. Uh, and we've been doing PLC here. But this would be a more organized <coughs> having coaches uh, that are compensated. All these positions receive some compensation that comes through this grant. And so that's how all that works. The last sort of group that gets involved here is something we're calling 
the teacher leader review team, and this is the group that sort of helps screen individuals, uh, helps interview people, helps find people for, or help people set up for their position. Ultimately, the hiring process is the same like it is for any other position in this district. It comes to the superintendent, it comes to you. So that doesn't change. And we're maintaining that system. We just have sort of a way to help get that all put in place. Okay, and I'm just adding kind of off of where he left off. Did want to mention that we do have teachers from all the buildings, so it's not so we see middle school and high school here. We've got elementary teachers that are working collaboratively with us on this just to make sure that we're looking at the whole picture. Um, when we look at the application process, you know, it's it's very laid out in exactly what we have to have in it. And so we've done the work of, you know, studying what others have done, looking at the um, Department of Ed site, looking at even the AEA website. They have a module that helps us to know exactly what we need to have on the application in order to be accepted. And it goes through things like, okay, application process. How does a teacher apply to it? What do we want them to have? It's not something that we assign a teacher. They have to apply to it. They would have to interview, be accepted, and then given that position. We look at those full-time teachers being pulled out of the room as little as possible. It might be, you know, one day they're gone for an afternoon and we have a sub in that day. Or maybe they're working an extra two hours before the school year starts or an hour after school. And so we want to keep those teachers, obviously, that are effective in the rooms with the children as much as we can, with the students as much as we can. Um, so we're looking at, you know, what are their roles? What are they going to do? How are they going to apply? How are we going to screen them? Um, and like I said, there's 10 different parts to the grant process, looking at all the stakeholders. What is our vision? What are our goals? Um, how do we connect it to our initiatives in the district? Um, how do we help those people who are entering into the profession, as well as those teachers who are um, experienced teachers coming in? How do we help them to join our district effectively? Um, we talked about the roles that each of these positions would have, how they would be selected, um, how they also help lead our professional development. Okay, they would help be planning and implementing our professional development. They would be leading it. They would be the teachers that would do that. How we evaluate if this is working. We're not evaluating the person per se as is the program working. Um, how do we sustain it, keep it going in the future? And then obviously the budget concerns and how do we financially make the money they give us work with the rules that we have chosen. So we meet, like I said, at least two hours every Wednesday, but oftentimes we're meeting in smaller groups to work on certain parts of certain questions just to kind of tweak and get the wording the way we want it. So. Fantastic. That group is to be applauded because it is a tedious task. It's a huge Deal. So thank you for presenting tonight. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you. For thank you. Any yeah. questions about what we're doing?